there is an increased energy demand that is going to continue the need for the additional power facilities. Thermoelectric power facilities are one of the largest water consumers. They, they basically consume more than 40 percent of the entire surface water withdrawals throughout the country. And they are a very high user of water, so without the ability to offer at a very a cost-effective price, that water that they so valuably need, then you may not be competitive. We actually had a, uh, a client call one day, and they had the adequate grid system. They had a biomass capabilities, waste biomass, to fuel this power facility. But the one thing they were missing was a low-cost water supply, and they by, did not want to use any potable water. One of the alternatives that we started discussing this uh, was re the use of reuse water from a wastewater facility that they had. I knew based on the demand that there was being requested that there was not enough reliable around-the-clock water available from their effluent from the waste plant to use at this power facility. It's always valuable to listen to your clients because this was a situation he was kind of joking around. He says, if we don't have enough water at the wastewater plant, we can just take some out of the river. We got the raw water intake pump station down there on the edge of the river just upstream of an interceptor that it supplies water down to this waste plant. And I thought for a second, I said, well, you know, I said, that just makes way too much sense. You've got excess raw water capacity at the time right now. So we can divert this flow, treat it through there. With that, of course, comes additional wastewater. And with the additional wastewater, you now satisfy your flows for your final effluent to be able to meet the reuse requirements for your power industry. And we had a fast-paced construction, got everything in place, and was basically able to uh, satisfy 100% of the demands from that industry.